Hey guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and I've had a lot of people asking me how to update to iOS 7, the latest version. You know, I do have several other videos up, but I wanted to make an updated version to fill you in, you know, on the latest things and maybe give you a little bit of troubleshooting. So in this video, I'll show you how to get the latest version of iOS 7 beta 4 using a security flaw in iTunes which means you do not have to pay for anything. You don't have to register or be a developer. This is a major fly in you know, Apple's system, so you can get iOS 7 beta ahead of all of your friends, and you don't even have to be a developer to do it. So it's very simple. It does work on the iPhone 5, the 4S, 4, the iPod Touch 5th generation, and all iPads that currently support iOS 6. So you can either do this if you are on an earlier version of iOS 7 beta, or for most of you who are on iOS 6. So just to show you, this is iOS 7 beta 4 right now. You know, you have all the latest things. It's basically almost the finished version. It's very optimized. You know, it works well, doesn't glitch, doesn't shut down randomly. So it works well. Okay. And, you know, go ahead and have your iPhone connected. And I do not supply the links for iOS 7 beta. I will point you to a website that does, but I personally, you know, it's not on my website. For those of you that are on an earlier version of iOS 7 beta, and for whatever reason you guys cannot upload update using, you know, general software update, this method, you know, it's for you too. You can go ahead and use it, but for the most part, most people will be on iOS 6 that are doing this. So you want to go ahead and go to your desktop and you want to download the latest version of iOS 7, which is right here, iOS 7 beta 3, you know, make sure it's for your respective device. So if you have an iPhone 5, you want to make sure that you download the correct firmware, and this only applies to the iPhone 5. There's two versions, A1429 and A1428. So there will be two different links for two different iPhones. Make sure you get the correct one. And you want to go ahead and update your iPhone to the latest iOS 6 version. If you guys are on something like 6.1.2, 6.1.3, iPhone 5's latest version is 6.1.4, so you want to make sure to update to the latest version. And yes, you will lose your jailbreak if you do this, so you know, just letting you know ahead of time. Okay, now the next step is to go ahead and open up iTunes, make sure your iDevice is connected, and go ahead and select option, check for update on a Mac or shift, left click update on a Windows computer, and you're going to browse for your iOS 7 firmware that you did download. Now I will have links down below in the description of this video, so make sure to get them there. They are updated, so there you go. Now you guys want to go ahead and select open and verify. It will go ahead and update your device to the latest version and you shouldn't have any kind of problems. Now, I'm not going to do this because you know, I am on the latest version. However, if you guys are not able to update, you get any kind of errors, the first thing you always want to do is go ahead and restart your computer, restart your iDevice, and try again. Then you can go ahead and move on to another computer if you do have one around, and you can try it there if you are having any kind of trouble. But for the most part, as long as you select update and not restore, you should be fine. Just make sure you select update in the process because that's basically how this whole thing works without paying. Now the restore process shouldn't be too long, you know, five to 10 minutes. All of your data will still be on your iPhone if you selected update. Now, if you selected restore and you boot up your device and you know, it says you cannot activate it because you have to pay register, that means you messed up. You did the wrong thing. And it's very easy to go back and downgrade. Click on this annotation right here. It'll take you to my downgrade video, which will downgrade iOS 7 back to 6.1.3 or 6.1.4, depending on your device. And then you can start over and update back to iOS 7 and you know, get back on the right track. So it's really simple. If you mess up, don't worry, it can be undone. For now, iOS 7 is downgradable, again, using that annotation video right there. So I just wanted to let you guys know that. You guys are now on iOS 7 running on your iDevice. So go ahead, show off to your friends and family uh, the latest operating system from Apple. It works surprisingly well now. I'm very happy with the latest beta because it's much faster, it's more optimized, and you know, it just works better. So there you go, guys. I do hope you enjoy iOS 7 running on your device. You know, I just wanted to make an updated video for those of you that were having issues. I do hope it helped. Have a great day, guys. Enjoy your new system. Peace.